Hi everyone, my name's Bill and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this video has been prompted by a subscriber who wants to know how to do throttle scanning. Well, they, they did it, but it didn't work out the way that they wanted it to. So um, in this video, I'm going to go over to OpenTX Companion and show you these the settings in there. And then we will switch over to the radio. Now, this can be done in beta flight. So you can put some command lines in and you'll be able to adjust the CLI uh, for beta flight for your quad. But you can also do it on your OpenTX radio. So let's switch over to OpenTX Companion and then we'll switch over to the Radio Master TX16S. Now let's take a look at throttle scaling. I'm going to open up my model that I've set up for this, just a basic four channel model so I can show you this. What we need to do is go to the inputs and to our throttle. First we're going to edit the first throttle line and we're going to select our switch that we want to use. So when we're at 100% throttle I am going to use SE in the forward position. Now you can choose whichever switch you like. Now we need to now um, duplicate this line. Okay, now we're going to go and edit it. First thing we can go down to is straight away change the switch to the middle position. Now here we need to put in here 75 and in the offset minus 25. Now you notice they both add up to 100. So this is going to give us 75% um, weight on the throttle. So only 75% of the throttle. So there, we're good. It's as simple as that. Next time, we're going to now replicate that line again. Duplicate it. Go down, just change the switch to the uh, back position. So now we've got all three positions. We're going to now change this to 50. So therefore, we have to change the minus to 50. Okay, we should then be good to go. Now what we can do is in special functions, let's do this. Let me go to switch, do this. I've already made the sounds up. These are not in the st standard sound pack. So you would have to go and make these sounds. If you join my Patreon, then I have a list of sounds that you can go and download. So you don't even have to make them. Whoops a daisy, where are we going? Play track, and we're going to go over to here and throttle. So that is going to be throttle at 100%. Okay, let's play it. Throttle scale 100%. Okay, then we're going to go switch SE in the middle position. There we go, and play track. And this time T and we're going to the middle position is 75 then we're going to SE in the back position play track and then T and this one is going to be at 50% so now we've got all of them so what we can do now is simulate the radio Okay, so let's just put the. We've centered the. We've put the throttle at full 100%. So if we do model and then hit model again, if we watch the throttle now, the throttle on mine, my channel mapping is a ETR, so channel um, three. You can see we have full range of our throttle. Okay, now if we click the switch. So 75% it should go up to um, up to here at that point. So that's going to be plus 20, uh, plus 50. So now you can see we've got 75% of our movement. Now if we pull the throttle down again and we go to and we put the throttle forward, it will only go to the middle now, as you can see. So there we go. There is the throttle scaling. Now let's take a look at the uh, settings on the radio. Now let's take a look at throttle scaling on the TX16S. We're going to hit the model key. 
We're going across to the inputs. We're going to go down to the throttle line. We're going to hold our enter key down and push enter again. Uh, the, we, all we're going to do in here is select the switch we want to have 100% uh, throttle. So we're going to push this switch SE, this is what I'm using, forward. Push enter and return. Now we've done everything we need to there. Now if we hold the enter key down and say copy and move down one, push enter and then push enter again and edit. In here we're going to set up 75%. So we're going to the weight, we're changing that to 75 and then we need minus 25 here. Oops, Daisy. There we go. And we've now got to change the switch into the middle position. So we should be good to go there. Push enter and return. Now we're going to duplicate that line, and copy that line and move down one, push enter, push enter again and then edit. And we are going to change the figures in here now to 50. There is a correlation here. Um, let me explain. So if you if you, you notice the, the first figures were 75 and 25, even though one's a minus, but if you added them together, they come up to 100%. And the same here. There we go, it's correlation. It's 100, but one is minus and one is plus. So we should be at 50% throttle there. Now we need to change the switch. We're going to go down to the switch, push enter, pull the switch back, and we should be good to go. Let's just come out. Let's take a look. Okay, all of that looks good. We'll put the switch forward. Now, as I did on companion or in companion, I've already set up the switches. It's a matter of selecting the switch, play a track, select the track you want to play. So if I now, I'm going to turn my volume up on my radio, hit my model key, and you can see there's my throttle. Full range of throttle. I'm down. Throttle scale 75%. So now we only want 75, so we're going to go to... Uh, 50 which is 75% of our range and then if we click throttle skill 50% 50% we should just go to the middle and there we go there's the settings on the radio well thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you thanks for watching happy flying bye for now